murder. Thou shalt not murder. Well, there's a turnaway. A black guy and a We'll pray for you. Pray that your baby keeps safe. Hallelujah. That's what we like to see. Uh, turn away, Dave. That's safe. Turn away, that's safe today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what we like to see. God bless you, both of you. You're making the right decision. Thank you, though. Thank you. I appreciate this, too. Thank you. God bless you both. <laughs> and a big packet. Praise the Lord. Pretty happy to buy. Take care of that little baby. Yep. And the pictures didn't hurt him a bit. I've never seen a woman convince without that. I'm going to have an abortion now that I've seen them. Where an abortion looks like. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, you just sold me on it. Never seen one yet. He likes the little booties. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, this day we had two turnaways on a stage so far. Last month we had one saved like that, and uh, I don't know how many turnaways we ended up with. A turnaway is someone who leaves. Um, God's got a plan and a purpose for your child's life, folks. It's a beautiful little boy, little girl. This is what it looks like right now, and this is what it's going to look like after the abortionist is done with it. Not a pretty picture. It's not a nice thing to do to your son or daughter. God commands, thou shall not murder. Thou shall not murder. It's cold-blooded, premeditated murder to take the life of a little baby. Your baby needs you to stand up for him and speak up for him. It's cowardly and selfish to take the life of a little baby so you can live a selfish life. Your situation is not so bad that your child has to die. Your situation will change. You can't bring that child back to life once it's dead. They'll rip the arms and legs off it, throw it in a garbage can, and you'll be a murderer forever. God commands, thou shall not murder. Thou shall not murder. Your baby wants to live. Your baby don't want to die. God's got a plan and a purpose for your child's life. You'll never know what it is if you go in there. You'll never know what that child will grow up to be. All you know for sure is you're a murderer. And every February 1st, you'll remember that you murdered your own son or daughter. Every February 1st, it'll come to your mind. As indeed, it'll come to your mind every day of your life. To live.
Your babies don't want to suffer or die for your pleasure or convenience. Your circumstances will change. You can't bring that child back to life once it's dead. They'll rip the arms and legs off your poor little child, throw it in a garbage can, and you'll be a murderer forever. God commands, thou shall not murder. Thou shall not murder. This is what baby looks like after the abortion. Is this the way you want to remember your son or daughter? Your baby wants to live. Your baby don't want to die. Your baby shouldn't have to suffer or die for your selfish pleasure or convenience, fool. It's a beautiful baby. God's got a plan and a purpose for your child's life. You'll never know what it is. You'll never know what that child would have grown up to be. Thou shalt not murder.